Hello everyone, welcome back to Gizmo China. I'm Kieran. When it comes to gaming phones, Black Shark is a brand that cannot be ignored. Most of you already know that this brand is focused on gaming phones since it was founded back in 2018. But how about the fact that the brand is invested by another well-known brand, Xiaomi? So on these Black Shark models, some features remind us of the typical Xiaomi Touch, such as the operating system based on MIUI, and of course, the great value for money. So today, the phone we are going to share with you is one of their latest gaming models, the Black Shark 4. The main reason why we love this model is the pricing. The global version of the Black Shark 4 starts at 499 USD and is officially available now. It's easily the most cost-effective gaming phone that you can buy globally in 2021. So if you are thinking about buying the Black Shark 4, please check the link here and make your decision as soon as possible, because considering its popularity in China, we're pretty sure that it will soon be out of stock. But even when compared to the Pro model, there's no doubt that the standard Black Shark 4 is better value for money. You can check the comparison here. To be honest, most upgrades on the Pro didn't even lead to a big difference in the gaming experience. The Black Shark 4 series design has changed a lot compared to their previous models. Now the Black Shark 4 looks much closer to a regular phone, being simplified and low profile. There are no more uneven surfaces with a combination of metal and glass on the rear design. Instead, it's made up of a whole piece of smooth glass reshaping the phone's appearance and giving gamers a much different holding experience. But thanks to the pop-up shoulder triggers, the Black Shark 4 is still one of the few gaming phones that offer the best gaming operation. Compared to the other's touch or pressure-sensitive buttons, the pop-up triggers can provide more intuitive physical feedback and give gamers a similar gaming experience to the game pads. About these two buttons, you can also customize them for special uses in different scenarios beyond gaming. For example, we can define the bottom trigger as the switch of the one hand mode to greatly improve the efficiency during one hand use, and even customize the button for instant screenshots. And in the camera app, we can use the bottom button as the shutter mode while keeping the top one for zooming in. And by the way, the simulated mechanical sound effect of the trigger switch is so delightful that I can't help sliding it from time to time. As a gaming phone, the Black Shark 4 is not too heavy or bulky. It won't cause much discomfort for long-time gaming. But at the same time, the relatively compact body does not allow the phone to feature a large battery as compared to other gaming phones. Therefore, to make up for the 4,500 mAh battery, Black Shark surprisingly features 120 watt fast charging, which is one of the fastest charging solutions that you can have on a smartphone so far. So let's look at its front. The Black Shark 4 features 144Hz 1080p hole punch display. And this display is made of the same Samsung E4 panel as the Mi 11 series, so there's no need to worry about the display quality. In the actual test, my eyes didn't really feel discomfort after playing games for a long time on the phone. And thanks to the dual forward-facing speakers, the phone is really good at delivering wonderful sound quality with stereo effect without using earphones. Or if you prefer wired audio rather than using the speakers, Black Shark was kind enough to reserve the 3.5mm headphone jack at the bottom. As for in-game software optimization, Black Shark developed an official app to help you manage installed games with a customized running performance setup. And if you are fond of using the official accessories, you can also manage the setup of these gaming equipment in the same app. Among these gaming accessories, there's an excellent cooling fan accessory that helps the phone achieve better performance output without suffering any heating issue. It's the latest Fun Cooler 2 Pro. This external cooling fan is easily the best one that we've ever used. We will show you its cooling effect in actual gaming very soon. The Snapdragon 870 chipset in the Black Shark 4 is already able to handle almost all the Android games without any performance issues. Although the results shown in the benchmarks indicated a performance gap between the 870 chipset and the 888 chipset, in actual use in gaming, the experience gap is really unperceivable. So let's check out the results of actual gaming. In PUBG Mobile China version, we found a way to turn on 90 FPS frame rate support under HDR graphics on the Black Shark 4. But by far, this method is only available on Black Shark 4 and doesn't work on the other latest models. The frame rate easily went up to 90 FPS and remained at 89.04 FPS on average during the entire test. By the way, gamers would definitely enjoy playing the game with the pop-up triggers. They're the best shoulder buttons for the PUBG Mobile that we've ever played with. The second game we ran was Genshin Impact. The Black Shark 4 again presented excellent stability over the running frame rate. There wasn't much fluctuation during the 30 min test, and meanwhile it maintained an average frame rate at 54.8 FPS, 
which is also one of the best performances that we've tested on a phone running the Snapdragon 870. Then we ran the game Nemean Legend as our final stress test. The result was also not bad at all. The average frame rate of 51.72 FPS also proves its strength as a gaming phone. But meanwhile, if we look closer at the CPU temperature, it's obvious that the phone applied such an aggressive CPU strategy that it even allowed the CPU temperature to run up to 72 degrees Celsius. And it also led to a pretty hot holding experience. Then we decided to connect the official cooling accessory, the Fun Cooler 2 Pro. Well, this cooling monster didn't disappoint us. In its frozen mode, the CPU temperature dropped by over 5 degrees Celsius. And over the running frame rate, it achieved an improvement of around 2.1 FPS with less fluctuation. Even if you are not playing games with Black Shark phones, we still recommend it as the best phone cooler for you. The battery life of the 4500mAh capacity didn't bring us surprises. And this battery doesn't really match its performance as a gaming phone. But fortunately, we have the 120W fast charge, which greatly comforts my anxiety every time it's running out of power. The full charge took us 16 minutes. Yes, 16 minutes. It's pretty insane when you look at the rapidly rising battery percentage. As for the audio quality of the speakers, there is nothing we could complain about. All we can say is that the speakers here are also notice. one of the best stereo mobile speakers. We don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. But what if sound could be extraordinary again? Precisely move in any direction within this theater. Whether the sound sweeps from the back to all the way in front, arcs overhead, or moves anywhere in between. Today. Unlike the Legion 2 Pro that we reviewed last week, the Black Shark 4 seems to care more about the balance between being a phone and a gaming machine. Probably you would complain about its common appearance, but if you truly use it for gaming, it won't disappoint you with the excellent performance and friendly operation. In addition, Black Shark has developed some interesting gaming accessories for their phones. So if you are not satisfied with the performance mode of the model, those kinds of accessories are able to improve your gaming experience to some extent. If you are interested in more details about the brand and the phone, please check out the link down below the video. It's now available globally. So that's it. If you like this video or want to see more phone reviews, please click the subscribe button and like button for us. Thanks for watching. This is Kieran from Gizmo China, and we'll see you again soon.